Do you ever get frustrated trying to park in just the right spot? Have you gotten tired of using a tennis ball as a guide? Is it time for something a little smarter? Now you can upgrade your garage with an ultrasonic smart parking assistant with large LED indicator that lets you know when it's time to stop. I'm Vince with Vince's Tech Shop and I'll show you how to make one in this video. Drive over that subscribe button and let's get started. The electronics for this are pretty simple, making it a great project for any skill level. You will need to solder a few wires. The electronics you'll need are an Arduino Uno or Arduino Uno Wi-Fi if you want to get really fancy, an arcade style button of about 1.1 inches to which is 30 millimeters in diameter, a large rectangular white LED I got from Adafruit, and a Maxbotics ultrasonic sensor that I also got from Adafruit. For the 3D printed housing, I have posted all of the STL files you'll need on Thingiverse. Find the link in the description. It's a total of about 115 grams of filament. I love the look of the Prusa PLA Galaxy Black, and even Amazon Basics Red is great too. To build everything the way I did, you will want to pick up these as well. Four screws to mount your Arduino to the housing, a number eight nut and bolt of about a half inch or 20 millimeters long, four drywall screws or double-sided adhesive to mount to the ceiling, a long 16 foot USB A to B type cable, a USB AC wall charger, some red, black, and green solid core 22 or maybe 24 gauge copper wire, and a light socket outlet adapter. By having the light socket adapter, you can have the device turn on only when your garage opens. It then automatically turns off when your garage light goes out after a few minutes. And the disclaimer. Now before we go any further, I want to be clear that I take no responsibility for damage you may cause using this device. Having said that, I do run two of these in my own garage and have rarely had trouble. Now let's put it all together. Here's a schematic of what we need to do. Download the code for the Arduino from this link on GitHub, and you can find a link in the description, along with Arduino's tutorial for how to load code onto your device. Now let's cut some wires. We'll need a red and a black at 16 inches or 16 centimeters, a red and a black at 8 inches or 20 centimeters, and three green wires at 20 centimeters. Now let's do some soldering of the LED. and then solder the button. For soldering the sensor, I'll show it this way. Ground is on the end with five volts next to it. Skip two pins, then solder the AN pin for data. Cool, now let's plug them in like this. All right, we have everything plugged in now. Let's power it and do a quick test before we plug it in, uh, connect it into our housing. All right, so let's see. Chicken comes into frame and sets it off. We're gonna set the distance to, let's say about 20 centimeters. And okay, chicken's further out, doesn't set it off. Oop, it's too close. Now it's time to stop driving. Thank you, chicken. Now let's assemble the electronics in the housing. I list which pins go where in the description if you'd like to know more detail. As you have seen, this is a pretty simple device, easy to get parts that is so helpful. That's it for this project. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share the video with others. Thanks for watching.